I like to address certain things. I want to make absolutely sure that everything that I put in there is um, brutally honest, to tell you the truth, because I'm not a very good liar. Belial of liars, Thomas Schoenberger, is too lazy, too incompetent, to write blog posts, so he makes sinless videos that are seen by 120 viewers and then dissipate into oblivion as his channels are struck and shut down for violating the terms of service of YouTube. Lacking all elegance, displaying no artistry, Schoenberger expects us to believe that he is a composer, when no one ever saw an orchestra play anything that he made. There are no videos of Schoenberger performing his work. Doubts that he can even play piano are rampant. The one thing that Rotund Thomas orchestrates is his co-conspirators, Stinky Steve Outram and Crazy Zach McQuaid. When was the last time anyone saw Pervy Dean the Machine Felger make anything? Rotund Thomas lost Lepo. Lepo came to his senses and realized that Rotund Thomas is going down, and he distanced himself. Pretty smart, but Stinky Steve steps carefully now as he knows that his every word and every act are scrutinized, an enemy capable of tying him up legally for years is on his trail, and Stinky Steve's loyalties could become very expensive. Mr. Levine's loyalties to his best friend are also under examination, every petty payment to Crazy Zach for hit videos on the enemies of Rotund Thomas will be inspected, and the instructions that Rotund Thomas disseminated to Levine and Crazy Zach will be scrutinized. Rotund Thomas likes to talk about conspiracies in RICO. His own affairs neatly meet the standard of evidence, while he will struggle to prove that his adversaries ever cooperated or collaborated in a systemic, organized fashion. Instead, everybody hates everybody, chaos is a rule. We all see it. When will Rotun Thomas's parole finally be revoked? This is the only question that matters, as it is the question that will dictate his liberty to continue committing felonies or his incarceration and loss of access to the net and to computers. The felonies are the key. Rotan Thomas threatens me and my family, he accuses me of mental illness and opium addiction and human trafficking and cocaine smuggling. He claims that I'm a CIA officer, failing to understand that blowing a covered officer is a felony. His threats are taken seriously, I catalog them all, and they are relayed to the custodian of his case file. Eventually a tipping point will be reached and a decision will be made to finally revoke his probation, he has long been in violation making a mockery of the judge's admonishment to be law-abiding, and he will be remanded back into custody. Who will pay his bail? What will the damage be? Could be pricey. If Stinky Steve pays, it could be consequential for the RICO case in the balance. Mr. Levine and Mental Zach and Rotun Thomas are all implicated. The lone questionable party remains Stinky Steve. He may slide as an unindicted co-conspirator. Maybe not. Jesse Davis is looking for Rotun Thomas. So is Manuel Ortega Chavez III. So is Gabe Hoffman. All want to serve legal papers on Rotun Thomas, and he is hiding, he slinks, he creeps, he hides, he evades, he absconds, all to avoid accepting pieces of paper that will tie him up in courts for years. Could get very expensive. Many, many people are very, very angry with Rotun Thomas. There are now 31 separate targeted victims on my victims list, he chose to target them all. He pursued them all, he told lies about them, and in some cases, he profoundly inconvenienced them. The crimes at issue are cyberbullying and cyberstalking, and the protection of identities. The felonies can be seen by anyone at Cornell Law. Rotan Thomas knows these crimes by heart now, he knows that he is busted, proving them will be child's play. All that remains is to begin. This great pathetic drama will begin with a knock on his door. Knock knock. Rotun Thomas, you violated probation. Knock knock, Rotun Thomas. Process servers have papers for you. Your presence is demanded in a court of law. How much longer can you hide? You better switch up your antibiotics. Your hack sounds bad. People do die of pneumonia. You realize that, right? Very easy to go septic. You should not be smoking. Give up the reds. Go on the patch. Use Nick Red. I understand nicotine addiction very well. Believe me, but in your case, it may kill you. I do not want to see you in the peace and quiet of an ICU. I want you behind bars. Stop smoking, you idiot. And keep running. Keep hiding. It will make your final apprehension all the sweeter. You threatened the wrong man with the wrong crime. Your question is whether I am referring to myself or to Mr. Hoffman. Knock knock, Rotun Thomas. Knock knock.